Hey guys, I'm Ruth Wilson. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel where we do makeup tutorials for beginners. So in our last two videos, we showed you two really great segments of worst case scenarios as to whether you only have money to buy one palette only, whether you are somebody who's a fan of colors or someone who's a fan of neutrals. So today we're gonna do another worst case scenario and this is what it is. What if you only have enough money to just buy two loose shadows? Now you might be thinking, there's not a lot that I can do with two loose shadows. Well, this video is about to change your mind because in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways of how you can actually accomplish several looks just using two shadows only. And if you want to see how that turns out, then keep watching this video. So before we get started, let us show you an example of what two shades you can actually go for if all you have in your pocket is enough money to buy two loose shadows. First and foremost, if you're buying two loose shadows, it'll be easier if you buy one matte shadow and one shimmer shadow. And it'll be easier if you can actually get them in cream format. Let me show you an example of what you can go for. Now I'm showing you these two palettes again because they're giving you examples of what kind of shade to go for if you're going to buy something loose in terms of matte. Now with this palette here, which shade do you think would be perfect for you to buy in terms of mattes? The easier choice would be the lighter one. And it'll be easier for you to buy a light shade that goes well with your skin tone and buying a brown one, one like this one, or one like this one, anything here except this color and not these colors up here, but you can buy any of the shades right here. Don't buy this one though. <laughs> and you can buy any of those shades because you buy something light so that when it's time for you to apply your shadows, you can go deep to light with them. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you just that. The second shadow that you need to buy is shimmers, preferably cream shimmers. Now, these are two very well and very good examples of the colors that you can actually go for. Gold and an off silver can go very well with any of the colors that you decide to buy, especially if the colors are nude, specifically gold and buying it in cream form would be a whole lot easier because I'm gonna show you in this video how easier it'll be for you to use them in cream form. In that way, you actually get a chance to create the perfect cut crease. So in this video, let's get started by showing you a few looks that you can actually create with just two colors, liquid shimmers and one matte shade. Keep watching. All right, so let's uh, carry you through this. So the first thing you do is uh, take your matte shade and you apply it like you would as a transition shade. Make sure to go very light. You don't want the shadow to be extremely dark, all right? Unless if you are trying to build up the shadow. So that's the first thing you do. You go very light on the shadows and apply it as transition. Now you take the liquid or cream shadow and you create the perfect half cut crease on your eyes. Remember where you can find your cut crease is where you can feel your eyeballs. And that's why it'll be preferable that you get a cream shadow. It takes the time off of trying to find how you can do the cut crease. And then now, as you finish doing that, you can now go back with your fluffy brush, go with some shadow, and you blend it into the gold that you just placed on your eyes. And you just continue to blend, 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 because you can easily work with liquid shadows like these. 
bring it up just a little bit so that you will not be able to see where the shadow starts. It might be a little tricky, but that's fine. Then you can apply your favorite mascara. In this case, if you also want to, you can even apply an eyeliner, a black eyeliner, and that's how it looks. And now we're going to revamp this by creating an entire, a whole cut crease or basically a half moon on your eyes. And this is the perfect way for you to do it. It's just to lengthen what you just did. And again, if you want to, you can leave it just the way it is or you can apply your favorite eyeliner. Now we're going in for look number three. In this case, this is where the buildup starts. You first take a flatter brush and you pat the shadows onto your eyelid. We're going to now create a gold liner on the eyes. You take a very fine tip brush or a fine tip tool. And as you can see how we're doing it here in the video, and you carefully map out the wing on your eyes. Now I'll tell you this for sure, not everybody gets this right on the first try. I know for sure that I didn't. You try to neaten it as much as you possibly can and now you have a gold liner on your eye. Now you can revamp this look by taking your black eyeliner and just basically shading inside of the gold liner and I must say I do love this look. And I'll also say this, as somebody who is kind of semi-pro, I actually found this to be a lot easier because sometimes you try to draw the black liner first and then you try to apply the color over to shade out what you're doing here. Uh, basically, it's complete reverse. And I actually get a lot of a harder time doing it that way but this is definitely a new method that I am going to be trying for myself. Of course, with all these looks, if you do love lashes, you can apply them and go on about your bene, honey. Now we're moving into the next look. Of course, you apply your shade as you would transition, as always, and go very light-handed. But in this case, you are covering your entire lid with color. Now you're going to apply your black eyeliner. Or if you have another shade or another color, you can easily go that route too. And now we're going to take that same fine tip and we are going to draw a gold line above the eyes right where we usually do the cut crease. Bring it out as though you are creating the perfect wing above your eyes. And remember, if you know exactly where and how you can find the eyeball, you will know exactly how to create the perfect cut crease. And there you have it, a black eyeliner with a gold upper liner in form of the crease. And now time for our next look. 
Of course, again, you go in with the shade as a transition shade. And now we are going to try to cover the entire lid. We're now going to pack on some more of that color onto the lid. One on each side. We're going inner and outer. And then we take our gold shadow and apply it in the middle to create kind of like not really a cut crease as you would have seen we had a half moon or basically full on our eyes and we had a half cut crease and now we're having a middle cut crease you go back in with your flatter brush if you want to you can use the fluffier one and now we're going to blend the shadow into that gold shimmer shade on our lid In this case, we're gonna create a very skinny eyeliner. Now this look can go hard either way. It can go hard with or without an eyeliner. In this case, it's just perfect. And that was our final, final look. We showed you six gorgeous looks in this video alone with just two shadows only a liquid gold shadow and a matte shadow which one was your favorite so those are six looks that you can use just by buying two shades only these are the two that I use, this peach right here and this gold right here. And you can see that out of all those looks, they all look really, really good. My personal favorite one was definitely the one with the gold outlining of the black eyeliner. Well, that's my video for today, guys. I'm not going to work with any uh, makeup on my eyes because they are currently burning just by doing those six looks on my eyes. So I'm going to be resting myself for the rest of this weekend. But thank you so much for joining me on this video. If you love what you saw, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye!